Yo, where my damn house keys? Why my lower legs hurt? Saw Attica lock legs like Attica word. Yo, why my ass always horny? Why I always gotta pee? Why the young boy on the bus off in his seat to me? Why my skin so dry? Why am I yawning right now? Why them AARP niggas sending shit to my house? Why my ass so impatient? But I like them young bucks, but 10 o'clock roll around and I'm too tired to fuck. Why my knees be writing checks that my back can't cash? Why I think I'm going fart? But my ass got other plans. Why most hip hop got me feeling so much older, yo. When the fuck this loud ass song going be over? Yeah, I tried to dance hard, but my knees straight caught me. Cause yo, this is 40, niggas. This is 40. <laughs> The 40-year-old version is a film directed by Rada Blank. This is her debut film. She has had a few writing credits on television shows and a few smaller movies in the past. A basic plot synopsis is that it is about this um, black woman who is a struggling playwright who's, a pro who's about, I think, three months shy of 40, as they say in the film. And she's decided to change up her career and she had previously sort of won an award or has been known for you know uh, people to look out for under 30. remember this face she was one of spotlight magazine's 30 under 30 playwrights to watch we watched but where'd she go i googled you last time you did anything was what 2010. and she has sort of fallen to the wayside She's gone to teaching. She doesn't feel she's in the right place in her career. And then she decides to turn it around and become a hip hop artist. One of the central critiques of the film is the kind of disparity between the lower middle class struggling black theaters and the upper class more white theaters and the disparity between them and you even see ways in which upper class white theaters would exploit black stories. I'm talking about gentrification, mm. a black Harlem shifting under a white hipster land grab. Mm. I asked myself, did a black person really write this? Mm. 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 This some bullshit. Mm -hmm. The struggle that she finds in sort of having to navigate between these two worlds, to trying to navigate between you know the the black or urban area then these sort of rich upper class areas that she comes across this kind of um this problem where she would have to be not forced but she's put in a position where she would have to kind of tell these stories that she doesn't really want to tell or go into areas that she doesn't feel necessary right baby we can't be changing for them we got to um rada yeah. Okay, uh, well, the wife, uh, she's from the old school. She's 35. I'm wondering why she's the only character talking like that. Jamie doesn't talk like that. Marcus doesn't talk like that. Okay. The fact that the wife speaks one way and Jamie speaks another is because, um... I'm white. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Race in this moment is completely irrelevant. The actors in this movie are very much in the kind of New York theater space. Much of the actors in this film are actually taken straight out of the theater and straight out of the New York theater. So you can kind of feel that in the way that they that they will act. You know, they have, and even in the way that it's written. So many there are so many characters that have these great wonderful, fantastical kind of monologues that you'd, come, that you'd expect to come out of a play. But we are grown, and I am out and proud and very Korean. And I don't owe you anything except friendship and honesty. Yes, you are fucking talented. Yes, your mom is dead. But you are not above being a sellout. Before shooting the film, she felt strongly about quite a few things. I know that she had wanted to shoot the film in black and white. She knew this even from before that she had had a cinematographer 
on. She knew that she wanted to shoot it in black and white. What, what one of the things that she said was that she wanted to tell a kind of New York story in black and white. That that's just sort of how she saw the film. And I think the end result of that is absolutely gorgeous. And when we look at a, at a film like this, especially when we're looking at a film in black and white, one of the first things I saw when looking, you know, the aspect ratio and the black and white and the grain, and this real grain in this film, you can tell it was definitely shot on film. And she shoots she the way that she photographs New York City. It, she doesn't photograph it in a way where where it looks like it's the tourist version of New York City where you get to see all the you know uh, the popular places or all the places that you obviously uh, would go if you were to go to New York instead what you you're not seeing New York from from a tourist perspective you're seeing New York from an actual New York perspective and more than that you're seeing the city from the perspective not of a white man that we're used to seeing that perspective on. If I'm thinking about Scorsese or, or Woody Allen, you get to see it from the perspective from from a from a black perspective. So you get to visit all these areas that don't get a lot of coverage in films, in movies, and 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 you get a real sense of the character of the film when when they shoot it like that when they photograph it where to the point where the city in itself is another character in the film it's not just the setting it's a real living character yo 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 Yo, 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 y